We can all admit that drones like this are awesome. This one's from DJI. This one costs $1,300. So today, we're gonna build one like this ah, for under $100. All right, let's get to it. Before we start building the drone, let me talk about the components you're gonna need because you're gonna need six different things in order to build a custom drone for under 100 bucks. So let's talk about it. Okay, but first, let's talk about propellers. Now, these are five-inch propellers. You can get different sizes. You can get three-inch, you can get 10-inch, you can get 20-inch, you can get 1,000-inch, maybe, I don't know, probably, you could. someone's probably gonna build that in the future. Make sure you get the right size for whatever drone you're building. The smaller the drone, the smaller the blades, because you don't want them colliding, they're gonna hit components, and so you gotta make sure you want the right size blades. Moving on to the motors. Now, motor combination, these motors are called Xing. I don't know. I just got them off of Amazon. You can get a bunch of different motor combinations off of Amazon, and people have pretty much guidelines on where to use what motors, because there's a bunch of different motors. Motors make a big difference. This is for much larger um, blades, but um, this is what we're gonna have to use right now. So they're not efficient, but they're gonna work. Moving on next. This right here is called a flight controller. Now this is the brains, this is like, this is like the nuts of your, I mean the, uh, the brain, the actual brain of your uh, drone. This is gonna make your drone fly. And this is what we're gonna have to program in order to make your drone fly. This one is called a F4 flight controller. There's an F7, that's more advanced. It comes with a couple extra things it could do, but this one can just basically do everything the F7 can. One last thing you could think about is the flight controller at the top, it comes in two pieces. You can get it as a stack like this where it just comes in one and it's easy. You could just hook up the motors to it or you can get separate ESCs for each motor and uh, then you don't need this bottom piece and then you'd have to just manually hook it up to the top piece so it's a cheaper alternative sometimes for people or you could just get the flight stack. I prefer the flight stack just for the convenience of things. All right, moving on next to the thing. This is what is gonna control your drone. This is what's gonna give you the signal from your remote control to your drone. This is called Crossfire, Nano Crossfire. You can get these for about 20 bucks. This is basically just the antenna that connects right there to your drone so you can control it through your remote control. I think that was self-explanatory. Moving on next, this is a controller. This is called, it's called a TBS Tango 2. This one is more expensive. So I would not prefer this if you don't want to spend the money. You can get much cheaper controllers. This one was about, I think $150. When I like it because it's like an Xbox controller. It looks good, it works good. And this is gonna make our drone fly into uh, wherever we want it to fly into. I mean, uh, fly into, fly, I mean, fly into, I mean, uh, fly in the sky. Moving on next, we have the last thing that we need, and that is a battery. Now, this battery is a LiPo battery. This is called a LiPo. LiPo means lithium polymer. That means if you drop this, it will probably explode, blow off your hand. You don't want that. So we're not gonna be attaching this to anything. We are going to be making our own battery, which we have right here. We made our own battery. Now, the difference between that, a LiPo battery, this is more for drone. This is high output. This puts out a lot of current at once. Uh, so more current, more amps means more power. Um, this is a custom battery I made. This is called a lithium ion battery. Now, a lithium ion battery is basically what's in everything you see nowadays. I mean, on my bike right here, lithium ion battery. By the way, do you like my light? I built it in the video right here. Check it out. This is a custom battery pack I built myself. So I took basically 21,700 lithium ion cells and I welded them together, kind of like welded, and I built my own battery pack. So this will work in drones. Now, it's not as fast is not as quick. This will give you longevity flights, but it won't give you the super fast response, but it'll be quick enough. It'll be like more of a smooth flight. This is more like a, a, a like a crackhead. It's like, like ready to go at any time. If you want a crackhead, but it's fast. It's a fast crackhead, and it will go sleep really soon. This is longevity. This is like taking Adderall and being on Adderall all day, but it's slow, and it's progressive, and it goes linear. All right, so we have all the basics. We got all the components, but we need one final thing. And that one final thing is we need to build a frame. Now, we can just buy one off of Amazon. They can get as cheap as $20. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna spice it up a little bit tonight. We're gonna try to build one. We're gonna build a quadcopter frame made out of carbon fiber. Yep, I said it. Let's get to it. All right, let's do it. All right, so here we have carbon fiber tubing. This is gonna be the frame of our drone. I got this off of Amazon for about ten dollars, I think. 
for like four of them. So we're just gonna cut this in half and then we're gonna make a cross out of it like this. And uh, hopefully we're gonna attach some motors to this and uh, we're gonna hopefully not completely blow up our drone. It's gonna be interesting regardless. All right, let's let's get to let's get to let's get to started on this. All right, but first we're on our favorite website, Thingiverse, where you could just print out anything that you could think of that's already been created. We're gonna look at motor mounts, and I found one that was four hours for each motor. That's sixteen hours. We don't got time for that shit. We're fucking making this build fast. So let's just print this out and let's get back to building our drone. So now that we have two halves, now we gotta cross them. We gotta cut cross and put some notches in here so they fit together perfectly. And then we'll have a drone frame. We're printing out actually motor mounts right now because we're gonna ghetto mount this. Here we're gonna put it basically like this and we're gonna squeeze this on here at the end and yeah, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be legit as Don't attempt what I'm about to do. Ah, shit. Corbin does, you know? This is the first time I'm wearing that. Right, let's, let's cut it. I need to go halfway through. Precise use is never my thing. I'll get back to it when it was up. Alright, so we cut all the pieces. Oh, look at that. It's flush and it fits like butter. Now, I think I got this pretty good. I mean, look at it. It's, 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 I, I just need some glue. It just needs, it just needs some glue. All right, so I have it finished. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it looks pretty good. It's pretty square. I mean, when it sits on the table, it sits flush. So, I mean, I think I, at least we have the frame now. Now, this is printing off on the 3D printer the other parts for the mounts of that. Now we have to think about how we're going to mount our center portion. And we're gonna move on to that next. So if you may or may not know, carbon fiber is conductive. So if we put this on here, it might short something out on here. So we're just gonna wrap these parts in electrical tape and make it stand off a little bit. And then we're gonna, every time you get a flight controller, you get a bunch of shit in the kit. And this is one of the things. So we're gonna make this bottom plate on the bottom of the drone. We're gonna mount it like this and it's just gonna squeeze everything tightly together. So we put the tape here so it's conductive now or non-conductive, I guess. And then we're gonna attach this in here and uh, well, if it's just how it should be going. And then the battery's gonna sit underneath, the motor's gonna sit on top and we're gonna find a way for the antenna and it actually should be able to fly. Well, we gotta program it and then it'll be able to fly. So since this is a bougie build, but we're on a Honda Civic 91 budget, uh, I drilled some holes in the side so we could run the motor wires through the tubes and go to the ESC and then go to the flight control and then go out to signal and then we can control it. So all the wires are gonna be hidden inside the tubes uh, for the most part, they're going to be at least a little cleaner design. Uh, yes, I did ruin the structural integrity of the carbon fiber, but it's carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. So it doesn't even matter. All right, let's go. So as you can tell, we are finally to the production part. We mounted the FC, the flight controller. We got the motor kind of in here. We ran all the wires through the tubes. Oh, these were a bitch. I cut them a little bit, but they'll still work. Now it's finished. We finally have the motor mounts finished after an hour and five minutes. That's all it took. The ones we previously had, we're gonna take about four hours for just one. I don't got time for that. We go, we're just gonna finish it real quick here. So we're just gonna mount these up and then we're gonna see how it goes and let's just try to mount the motors. So we have the motor mounts printed. These only took about an hour to make. All we have to do now is we're gonna attach these under it, run two screws on top and oh, let me let me just let me just finish one and show you exactly how it's gonna look. So as you can see, we got all the motors mounted up now. They, I mean, they they fit pretty good. I might have to just put a little bit of super glue just to secure them 100%. But they are pretty secure actually for only an hour print. Now the whole frame cost me less than ten dollars. The whole frame cost me about five dollars to build. Uh, so you could build one too. I'm just, I'm just a cheap ass. I just don't want to spend money on a brand new frame when I could just build one. But all right, so already we have a carbon fiber frame, all the wires. Now we have to mount the wires properly into the ESC. Now you see these tabs here, let me show you. Now if you look really carefully, you could see three tabs on each side. You have three here, three here. You have three here and three here. Notice how there's three wires and there's three tabs and there's six, there's nine total and there's nine wires total. So you wanna connect each one of these wires to each one of these tabs. 
So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's get to mounting and figure out which one we want as motor one and motor two, motor three, motor four, and then we'll, mark, we'll start soldering it to here. Just a little tip here, usually every time you buy a flight controller, it comes with a flight manual and it tells you which motor is which. It's super easy to read and it's it's and it also tells you all what all these soldering points mean. I mean, you, you can figure out the rest. All right, congratulations, dude. We cut all these so they will fit nicely here. I cut them a little shorter so they would just fit cleanly instead of having wires hanging around. Now we're gonna take our soldering iron. You can get one of these off of Amazon for like 10, 15 bucks. Just get it. So this one is motor one, two, three, and then four. It's easy, one, two, three, four. Simple as that. We're gonna mount it, wire it, and let's go. All right, so quick intermission. I just wanna tell you what is what am I doing right now. This is called a thing called tinning. This is when you get the wire nice and braised so it's easy to mount and weld onto the thing. Don't smell too much of this stuff, it'll make you retarded. Trust me, I know. All right, congratulations, you have built a drone now. It's all wired up. For the most part, we have to get our antenna in here. But first, what we're gonna do is make sure that we've wired this right. Now we're gonna plug this into the computer and we're gonna just run a basic motor test to see if all the motors are spinning the right way. Now, if a motor is not spinning the right way, it is easy to fix. All you have to do is desolder two wires and switch them around. Any two wires, it doesn't matter, on the same motor. So three wires, desolder two of them, switch them around, and the motor will go the right direction. Simple as that. But we just gotta make sure all motors are going in the right direction, and then we can just solder up our antenna, and then we hook up our battery, and then we get our first flight. All right, let's get to it. So this is the most complicated part. We are in a site called Beta Flight. It's something you could download online. It's pretty simple. That is what controls. It's like the programming for this master, for this uh, whatever this thing is. So all we have to do is connect a USB cable to our computer and a US is sometimes this is USB-C. This is a micro USB and we're gonna connect it and we get lights right here. That means something is working. Now it automatically opens up into the computer. Okay, so we hook this up. Now what's in the computer, all we have to do now, we can control the motors directly from the computer. So, this is full power. All right, now let's just check each individual motor. Now if you look at the top left hand corner, we're just gonna have to match our motors up with our hand and we're gonna just do individual ones and we're gonna need to know which ones we have to resolder. It'll tell you the direction, which way it's spinning and uh, we'll start with number one. So number one, it is spinning the right way. It should be spinning clockwise. So that's good, we have one already correct, that's good. Number two, two is spinning the wrong way. So we have to solder, desolder two points on number two and resolder them. We just gotta switch two points on number two. All right, let's check three. Three is spinning the wrong way. Damn, we don't have three now. Four, come on, let's, four, come on. Four is spinning the wrong way. So we got one out of three. So we gotta solder six times and uh, switch six points. All right, let's just re-switch them and make sure we have the right motor separate combination, I guess. Now that the motors are all spinning the right way, let's just uh, solder up the antenna and let's put the blades on and we just put the battery and we just gotta tune it and then it's it's good to go. It's actually it's actually good to go. We could actually just fly it when we put an antenna on it and blades and a battery. Next up we have our antenna. We're gonna wire this into our thing. All right, so the red and black is positive and negative. So we're gonna put that in the five volt area right here. So we're gonna put five volt right here and then ground right here. Uh, you can see 3.3 volt is at the top, 5 volt is at the bottom, and these are both ground on the left hand side. Then the yellow and white is our signal wire, I guess. So we're gonna put the yellow on the TX and the white on the RX. All right, let me solder this up, and then we're gonna somehow fit the antenna somewhere. I don't, I, we have to figure out where we're gonna put that. So from here, we're just gonna put, we're gonna tuck this somewhere, we're gonna put the propellers on the right way, you can see everything and then we're gonna link it to the controller. The controller is easy. All you have to do is go online and whatever controller you have, I'm sure there's, there's always references. I'm not gonna tell you how to do it. If you wanna look it up, go ahead, do it. Um, but we're gonna do this the fast way. So there is a last few minute settings. You have to go in beta flight and connect this with this. 
and it's just a few settings. But for the most part, we're just gonna skip over that because you could look it up. It's pretty easy how to connect all. There's a couple options you have to choose just to make sure it works right. Let's connect everything else and then we're gonna be ready for flight. This is it. This is the main flight voyage of my attack drone that I just built. Let's get to it and let's try flying it for the first time. Let's just connect it. Hopefully this thing won't blow my hands off. That's a good sign. All right, we're gonna carefully set this down and we're gonna ready for our main voyage. Here we go, baby. Oh. Oh, look at that thing fly. Look at it fly. Let me just spin it around. Look at this thing fly. Look at how clean that is. Oh, baby! Look at how clean that is. Look, I can... This thing's smooth. Oh, shit. All right, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate that. I built a drone that's nice. <laughs> and you can too for under a hundred dollars. Holy shit. All you can add cameras and much more. All right, thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.